Evaluate the following piecewise function at the given values of x. f of x equals 2x minus 1, or x is less than or equal to negative 1, and x squared plus 1 for x is greater than negative 1. So when evaluating this function, we choose which of these two functions we'll use based off of which statement here is true. Now, what I find students often trying to do is just to take the input value, place it into both functions, and then try to make a comparison. But the problem is the output value of a function is a y value. You're not comparing the y value to negative 1. You're comparing the x value, which is the input value. So you don't need to plug it into both. You just need to say, OK, for this part a, x is equal to negative 3. And then negative 3, how does that compare to negative 1? Well, it is less than negative 1, OK? Since negative 3 is less than negative 1, that tells me I need to use this function right here. So f of negative 3 is going to be 2 times negative 3 minus 1, which is negative 6 minus 1, or negative 7. And we don't do anything with the y value in terms of the comparison. It's only the x. All right, for the second one, we want to evaluate f of negative 1. So negative 1, when we compare that to negative 1, that's equal to. So this is the statement, again, that qualifies because it's x is less than or equal to negative 1 gets placed into this function. So for, I'll say this is a. So for part b, it's going to be f of negative 1 is 2 times negative 1 minus 1, which is negative 2 minus 1, or negative 3. Lastly, for c, we have uh, x equals 2. And when we compare that to negative 1, 2 to negative 1 is larger. And since x is larger than negative 1 now, that tells me this statement qualifies. So I would use this function. So for part c, f of oops, positive 2 is going to be evaluated as 2 squared plus 1, which is 4 plus 1, or 5. 